Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are finally going to be reviewing the Pat McGrath and Bridgerton 2.0 collection. As some of you may know, this collection took forever to get to me and then once it got to me I was out of town so it is finally time we are going to be reviewing it and I simply cannot wait. In this video I plan to do the most. I plan to do everything. I definitely want to show you swatches of everything. We are going to do swatch comparisons between the 2.0 palette versus the original Bridgerton and Pat McGrath collection palette. I'll try not only to swatch all four of the colors that come in this cheek palette, but also apply them all to my face. I have the Kohl eyeliner I want to show you. I'm going to show you four of the lipsticks from the collection. I bought a lot. And like I said, we are going to do the most in today's video. So I can't wait to get started. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're excited for it. And let's just go ahead and go for it. I think I'm going to do this video a little bit different because usually I'll do a review video and then a follow-up video with more looks. But since I'm combining both things, what I'll do is I'll do the review video and then towards the end of this video I'll add the couple of extra looks so that if you want more looks you can just stay watching and if you are just content with a regular good old review then you stop watching after I um, finish with all of the regular review stuff that we're going to do. So first things first let me show you everything that I bought. Of course I bought the Pat McGrath and Bridgerton palette. This one is called Belle of the Ball. It has this really beautiful warm cream type of packaging and I feel like the most controversial thing about this palette is how similar the shades in here look to the shades of the Diamond of the First Water palette which was the first one that they came out with. And so of course I was very very interested in doing swatchy comparisons between the two and telling you whether or not I think that if you have the first palette the second one is worth it. I'm definitely really really excited to play with some of these shades. The shade Forbidden Armor looks like an absolutely stunning matte burgundy type of color and then on the right side of the palette diamonds desire and forever charmed look like some absolutely stunning shades next thing i bought was of course the cheek palette and this thing is massive look at it in comparison to my face in fact look at it in comparison to the palette you definitely need a lot more storage space for this cheek palette than anything else in the collection and I get it they were trying to go for packaging inspired on the era I guess um, but first of all fancy era packaging was probably not cardboard <laughs> and second of all it is the bulkiest thing I've ever owned I have no idea where I'm going to store it but I am going to go ahead and try and look past that because the shades that come in this cheek palette are actually really really beautiful looking and I cannot wait to touch them all, swatch them all, put them all on my face. I was also very very interested in the Legendary Wear Velvet Coal Eyeliner, especially because I saw some of the makeup artists in the Pat McGrath team using it as a base for the eyeshadow. So I'm going to do three looks in today's video and at least for one of the looks I definitely want to try and play with the Coal Eyeliner as a base to see if I can come up with something interesting. Besides that, I love Coal Eyeliners. This one is one of these like pointed fat ones that you can kind of blink on <laughs> um, and just get a really nice intense pigmented dark line on the top and bottom water lines of your eyes. So I'm definitely very excited to try this one. And then besides that, I also bought four different shades of lipstick. I bought Neglige, Venusian Peach, Veiled Rose, and Nude Romantique 2. The packaging of the boxes of the lipsticks is so freaking beautiful. I kind of don't want to throw them away, but also don't have anywhere to put them. <laughs> um, so we will see what I do with those. And then as far as the lipstick, Sticks are concerned, Venusian, Peach, and Negligee come in this really beautiful peach 
packaging while well, Veiled Rose and Nude Romantic 2 come in this really beautiful blue packaging. I'm not gonna lie, besides the packaging of this thing being so huge that I don't know where to store it, I'm not mad at the packaging. It honestly looks good to me. It is Bridgerton inspired. I don't have many complaints except for the size of this one. So let's just go ahead and get into some swatches. I'm going to leave the palette for last so we can do swatch comparisons. So let's start by swatching the lipsticks. Okay, let's get you a little closer and I'm going to go with these peachy ones first. So right here we have Venusian Peach and Negligee. And these are both warmish type of nude colors. Really, really beautiful. I actually do see myself getting use out of them. Although I don't think I've tried them on my lips yet. I do remember swatching them for a haul video I did like three and a half weeks ago because for some reason I got these so much earlier than everything else I had ordered. Anyways, let's move on to the lipsticks with the blue packaging. This one is the Nude Romantic 2. And I was under the impression that these blue ones had less pigmentation than these, but I think that was just in my mind because I feel like right now they swatched similarly. And lastly, Veiled Rose. Maybe this one's a little less pigmented, I don't know. I definitely have to admit they all look so freaking similar to one another, but honestly, I was kind of expecting that. And I think that just from the swatches, my favorite shade is this one here, which is the Nude Romantique two but we'll see once i try them all on my lip let's go on to swatching this coal i'm expecting it to be butter yeah it is pretty much butter and then let's see how it smudges we'll see once we put it on the eye i thought that that under thing would disappear but it's kind of staying there so i'm scared that it's going to dry before i can blend it out wish me luck <laughs> Let's go for the cheek palette next. The heart up here, which is a highlighter, is called Champagne Venus. And this is the swatch of it right there. Nice golden highlighter. It looks like it has, yes, it definitely has little glimmery chunks in there. So if you don't like your highlighter with shimmery chunks, beware. This peachy one right here is called Aphrodisia. And here is the swatch of it. I will say, when I first saw this palette, it gave me like hourglass blushes vibes because it has that like baked thin powder glowy consistency or look to it. Um, but the hourglass blushes don't usually swatch this pigmented, <laughs> I have to admit. So, you know, might be even better. I really do like the glow that that blush has. This one down here is called Budding Romance. And I think this is probably going to be, oh my god, yes it is, darker <laughs> for me. It's going to be pretty dark for me, but on a darker complexion, that is going to look absolutely stunning. I love it. Last one over here is called Berry Brilliance. And here it is, also pretty pigmented. If you guys know me and how basic I am, of course I'm gravitating more towards this because these might be a little bit too bright for me, but it doesn't surprise me that Pat would of course be extremely inclusive and put shades in that palette that will match everyone. There is definitely a blush for everyone in there. And also, you know, I'm pretty sure that I can like soften the darker ones and make it work. I'm honestly pretty impressed by the pigmentation of those blushes. I was definitely expecting them to be good, but they are pigmented. They are so, so pigmented. Last but not least, let's go ahead and swatch this palette. I'm going to do the live swatches down here and then I will show you up close. Super creamy, super pigmented so far. Oh, I love the way this glittery shade feels. Let's go for it. Ooh, it is so pretty, so pretty. Live for those. Let me just get up and show you. I was very excited about this matte right here. Blue and ooh, look at that gold green type of a shade right there. Okay, here are the swatches up close. I added a little bit more 
to that burgundy-ish looking matte shade. Absolutely love the glittery shimmers, in particular this one and that one. I can't wait to play with those. Love it. Okay, so let's start by what the two palettes look like side by side. We will do the obvious comparisons. I definitely want to compare this shade and this shade to this one right here in the middle. They look pretty similar. This one does look a little bit warmer. I want to compare this matte to this matte down here, this shimmer to this shimmer, and of course this color and that one right there need to be compared as well. Let's start with this one here versus the one in this palette. The one in the new palette looks almost green in comparison, which I couldn't tell online to be honest with you. So this one's more of like a veil type of color, this one's more of a true shimmer, and then you can see that this one looks pretty much green versus the blue one down here. And like I said, online I truly couldn't tell the difference this clearly. <laughs> Let's grab this one from the new palette, this one from the original palette, new palette first, and original palette right here. There is a difference for sure. Sorry, my swatches kind of suck. <laughs> um, you can see that this one's a little bit lighter, a little bit redder. This one's a little bit more cool toned here, the original one. But those two are pretty, pretty similar to one another, I would say. Let's grab this shade from the new one in the similar shade from the original, new palette, and the original palette. The one from the new one is a lighter, more champagne type of color. The one from the original, not as shiny, not as light, but it's still a really pretty shade, and I would say those two are pretty similar to, you know, differences considered. And then lastly, I definitely want to grab this color from the new one and compare it to this one from the original, and why not? Let's do this one as well, just in case. New palette, original palettes, and original palettes. Okay, so here are the side-by-side -side swatch comparisons. I would say the second, the darker shade, is more similar to the new one than the one that I thought was more obvious. Um, but still slightly different undertones. I don't think this shade would be a deciding factor on getting the new palette if you already have these two. And then towards the end of the video, once I've done an eyeshadow look with this one and whatnot, I'll tell you which palette I would pick if I didn't have any and I wanted to get just one of the two. So let's get to my favorite part, which is playing with the makeup. And I'm going to start with the cheek palette, cleaning a brush as I speak. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do in order to like use all of the shades is I'm going to put these two on the apples of my cheeks, this one towards the back, just a tiny bit, and then this obviously as my highlighter. So let's start by this one, which is the one that I do think I'll like the most. And <laughs> these are so pigmented. I have to be very, very careful because I will look like a clown. So I'm going to tap some off right here and put it on the cheek. See, I still think I look like a clown and that was the lightest of the three blushes and I tapped it out. <laughs> it's really, really pretty though. I kind of wiped my brush on a paper towel a little bit and I'm going to grab this one. Still, that is so much product. Tapping it off. Okay, I think I tapped it out a good amount this time because it didn't start out as aggressive. I feel like I can barely see it on camera, but it's a little bit pinkier and more cool toned than this one is. Both really pretty. And then I'm going to grab this one here. That's more than enough. Again, tap it off on a paper towel. And I'm going to add it to back here, just to see that color as well. Oh my god, that is so much. Oh my god. I did say I wanted to try them all, didn't I? Okay, so here is that darker color on me and then the peachier one and the pinkier one. So this is my BK Beauty 101 brush, which is the brush that I use today for my foundation. And it probably has some leftover foundation somewhere in there. So I'm going to go over my blush with it because I just don't find this much blush flattering on me. Honestly, if you don't like intense blushes, I would probably skip that palette altogether because it seems that even with 
the lighter shades it was a lot of blush plus the packaging is just not ideal to be honest so I would probably skip on the palette. Okay, here we go. You can't really see the true color of the blushes anymore and I apologize, but I guess they're just like very intense, not shades I necessarily enjoy all that much. So I just didn't feel capable of leaving it on the way that it was because I'm about to do some dramatic eyeshadows as well. So I was going to look like a whole mess. So this is the blush after I kind of toned it down with my foundation brush a little bit and let's just go for the highlighter next this is a refer number 18 brush i'm going to grab some of that highlighter and ooh, glittery put it on the top of my cheek same thing over here and here is the highlighter on as you can see you can pretty clearly see like the little glimmery flex in there so beware if you don't love those they are in this highlighter personally i can tell you right away that i don't see myself reaching for this one all that often because the colors are very very intense maybe if you have a tan dark or deep complexion you would be all about this because you don't even have to like build it up like they are so richly pigmented it's crazy um, and they probably are a lot more flattering on darker skin tones than on my pale self besides that as i was mentioning since the beginning of the video i don't love the super bulky packaging um, i really honestly wanted to like this because i figured is a different blush formula from pat mcgrath i'm sure to like it right um, but it turns out it's just a little bit too intense for my personal taste. Let's do my favorite part, which is the eyeshadows. And I'm going to, of course, start with this shade up here and my refer number 15 brush. And I'm going to just build that on my crease all the way in right here and just back and forth through the crease and doing little circles around where I place that color. I'm going to extend it upwards in order to get this really nice blown out effect. Just like this, so pretty. And repeat on this side, make sure that you look back and that your sides look even. Okay, so this is how I'm looking so far. And with my refer number one brush, I'm of course going to go into this shade down here, which I'm dying to try. I picked a lot of colors, so we'll see. Okay, just tapping it on the outer corner first so pretty and then with the tip of that brush i'm going to start blending it okay i grabbed too much <laughs> switching to my refer number 15 and with that brush i'm going to blend it into the crease because if i kept on blending with the number one it would have turned out too dark so just back and forth do little circles and extend it upwards Ooh, love that that's so pretty okay so let's do this side and now I am blending it upwards with the refer number one because I no longer have as much product on the brush. Okay, so here's that second shade blended. So far, loving it. But I do feel like you can get this same exact look almost with the original palette because these types of shades are very, very similar in both. Now we will go in with this shade next, which I am dying to try. And I'm going to use this big, fat brush to put it on with this is a brush from refer that i wanted to test out and i don't know the number of it yet but it hasn't come out yet so it's okay um by the way all of the brushes that i'm using for my eyeshadow are refer brushes i always use refer brushes for everything they're my favorite eyeshadow brush ever they completely change the game when it comes to eyeshadow highly recommend them and of course the link to the brushes is down in the description box of this video along with the links to every single thing from this pat mcgrath collection and that color looks stunning um so if you're interested in anything definitely shop my links down below and by the way if you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy my content please don't leave without subscribing okay i am loving this greenish gold shade i'm not sure what the name of this type of color is but it looks spectacular so with my refer number one brush i'm just blending this back edge a little bit back and forth and onto this eye. Now for the inner part of my eyelid, I'm going to use my refer number 28 brush and this shade right here. And I'm going to blend it on the inner third of the eyelid and into 
my greenish gold shade. This is looking so pretty. Mm. Okay, love that. Before I continue, let me go ahead and use my coal eyeliner. And I'm just going to kind of like put it on the outer corner of my waterline and blink on it and drag it forth. I know this looks weird, but it works. See? Mm -mm, so pretty. Same thing over here. And I'm going to do a little bit right underneath to blend it out. So with my refer number 26, I'm going to smudge that. Ooh. That became so intense so fast. <laughs> I'm going to tap a little bit on this outer corner. Another number 26 brush, and I'm going into this shade and just smudge it right underneath the black. Okay, so this right here is the first eye look with this Bridgerton 2.0 palette, the Belle of the Ball. I'm going to put on mascara and lashes and I will be right back to swatch all four of the lipsticks on my lips. All right, I am back. I applied a little bit of mascara and some velour lashes. These are in the style Serendipity, and I do have a 20% off velour code. It is Patty20 if you are interested. So let's move on to trying all of the lipsticks, which is the last thing on my plate. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on the whole collection. I'll pick a favorite lipstick, pick a favorite palette out of the original or the new Bridgerton collaboration palettes and all of that. And like I said, if you want to stay to watch a couple more looks, you can afterwards. So let's start with the peachy lipsticks and I'm going to try negligee first. I was going to put on a lip liner, but I'm going to try and do it without. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so here's the color negligee. Really nice warmish rose type of a color. I really like it. And I really like that these have that satin finish to them. I believe that they are satin lipsticks. Yes, they are. <laughs> so they look nice and shiny, which I love. So this is negligee. Next, let's try Venusian peach. This one is lighter for sure. Wow, this is surprisingly beautiful. I was honestly not expecting it to look this light, but I really love the color of this one. Again, this one is Venusian peach. Love the finish. These feel like you're wearing lip balms, which is amazing. And this color is so, so pretty. So from the blue packaging ones, this one is Veiled Rose. And I think that these have more of a cooler tone type of a thing. They're not as peachy as the other ones. That is pretty and it matches the eye look perfectly. Mm, I love this one. Veiled Rose. I think so far this is my favorite. I totally see myself wearing this one a lot. Absolutely love this shade. And I had left what I thought was going to be the best for last, but I feel like the one I'm taking off is hard to beat. So last but not least, Nude Romantique 2. It's kind of the same exact color as my lips. I have it on top and nothing underneath. And it looks like I have it on both sides. <laughs> okay, obviously I love this one as well. I do like the two in the blue packaging better than the ones in the peach packaging. But from the peach packaging, the Venusian peach was really, really lovely. And from the blue packaged ones, my favorite one was Veiled Rose. So if you're looking for a like one color recommendation, obviously pick whichever one you like the most. But I personally loved Veiled Rose the most which was the one I had right before this one and this one right here I also really love it is the exact same color as my lips so obviously it is going to be a flattering color on me but I'm really happy with Veiled Rose and Nude Romantique for sure okay so I have my structure lip liner from Pat McGrath right here with me and I'm going to just line the edges of my lips with it a little bit give it a little bit more structure if you will <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorite lip liners i love it and this right here is the final look so let me just give you my final thoughts on my first impressions i like i said would skip this it is extremely pigmented though really good quality if you love blushes or if you have a darker complexion you might really like it but do beware of the super bulky packaging. I find it to be really, really beautiful, but it's just not my cup of tea to have extremely vibrant looking blushes. The co eyeliner was good, it was nice and pigmented, but also nothing we haven't seen before. I feel like this is not that much of an innovative 
item however it was really nice and I'm glad I have it as far as the lipsticks are concerned I pretty much like them all but my favorite two shades were for sure nude romantique 2 and veiled rose veiled rose being like the all-time favorite and lastly if I had to choose between the original palette or the new palette I would totally go with the new one and I'll tell you why. I remember when I reviewed this one, one of my original complaints, let's call it, was that these two colors were extremely similar to one another and I stand by that. And in the new palette, you have a color that is similar to those two, but it's just one, which is this one right here and there isn't two of them. Besides that, I really loved this green gold type of a shade and the contrast that it gives the rest of the shades in this palette this shimmer right here is absolutely spectacular it is a glimmery lover's dream this matte is beautiful nice and dark plays well with the rest of the shades and so i feel like this one has more variety within the six shades that this palette has and so therefore i would choose this one over the original and the only shade that i would be sad not to have if i were to only have one of the two would definitely be this glimmery beautiful blue shade right here but besides that one i feel like this newer second palette it just has a better color combination and like i said more diversity within the palettes Alrighty, so those are my final thoughts. My apologies for taking so long to post this video. If you are still interested in the collection, definitely shop my links down below. I'm leaving you the links to the Pat McGrath website and this collection is also now available at Sephora. So I will also be leaving you all of the links to the Sephora website in case you prefer to shop at Sephora. If you want the rougher brushes, the link is also down below along with everything else that I'm wearing on my face. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. If you're new to my channel, don't leave without subscribing. And um, if you want to see two other looks with this palette, keep on watching. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> okay, if you stayed for more looks, let's get started with the second one. And once again, and I will do this for every single look probably, I'm going to use this shade right here. Just because this is the only shade we can use as a transition shade in this palette. So back and forth. And this time I'm using a ref for number 16, which is just a big, kind of pointed or domed, I should say, fluffy brush. And I'm blending it upwards towards the brow. Okay, so let me try with the coal liner thing to deepen up the outer corner. And this is a BK Beauty brush that I'm using to blend it out. I'll tell you the number in a second. Since this is a cream product, I wanted to use a synthetic brush. And as you can see, it's blending it out nicely. I just wanted it as a like darkish type of base, but I'm going to put another color on top. This brush is the A504 from BK Beauty. Just did a few more dots to darken things up a little bit more. And I'm going to also use it over here on the inner third and blend it with that brush. Back with this color right here on a refer number one. I'm going to go over that black shade because like I said I just wanted to use that as a base and I'm going to use this shade right here with my finger and tap it right in the center Ooh, that is so pretty actually I was not sure about this decision but I really like the way that turned out actually a little bit more of this shade so using a refer number one I'm just tapping it over the edges of that aqua shade that is so pretty. So I'm going to dot right underneath my eye with the coal liner and blend it with a refer number 26 back and forth. Just smudge it. And then back with our pink shade on a refer number 13. Blend it all out. That is so pretty. Lastly, I'm going to use this glittery shade right here. This flat brush is a refer number 28 and I'm putting it right on the inner corner. In a little bit right here in the center of the eyelid. Alrighty, so this right here is the second look with mascara on. I am going to put on some lashes as well and I'll show you what that looks like afterwards. But love the way this turned out and the 
Coal Liner. Blend it out really nicely. I was able to kind of use it to intensify that pink shade on the outer and inner corners. And I really like the way that this turned out. Plus, I love that contrast of the pinky peachy crease with the aqua color on the eyelid. I actually think it looks really beautiful. So let's move on to the third and last look. Like I said, I'm going to use this one again for my crease. Still using that reference number 16 that I was using for the other eye. And I think I'm going to do another halo eye, but we're going to intensify with this shade. And I'm using a reference number one to tap it on the outer corner. And now that the color is deposited, I'm going to start blending it upwards a little bit more of that same shade and putting it on the inner corner. Back with the number 16, just blending everything. And I'm going to go back to this shade right here. I haven't used this one, but I feel like that's kind of boring to use. When you have this super fun shimmer, I might just use it for the inner corner in this one, just to say that I did. <laughs> So with that glimmery, beautiful shade, we are going to tap the eyelid. This is super classy and super glamorous, and it looks amazing. I barely even have to blend the edges, but I am going to just quickly tap my brush on them. So, so pretty. So with a reference number 26, I'm going into this shade. I'm going to do the outer and inner corners with it. And I'm going to grab a little bit more of this one with my pinky finger and just dab it right in the center of the under eye here. And this one again, refer number 13. Just smoking it all out. As promised, grabbing this one and popping it right on the inner corner. A little bit under the brow too, because why not? Okay, and this right here is the final third look before lashes. I love the way it turned out. I love this color in the center. It's so pretty, so attention-grabbing. So let me be right back and I'll show you what these look like with some lashes on. Back with some lashes on and these are looks too and three. And if you stayed to watch the tutorials on these, I really hope that you liked them. I honestly had a blast playing with this palette today. I would have to say my favorite look is probably this one. This is like a classic look that I do a lot. I know, but I love it. <laughs> Burgundy with that beautiful champagne glimmery shimmery situation happening right there. Love. And then I also really loved the look with that green gold shade. The first one was also beautiful and this one's also beautiful. So really I love them all. Like I said, this six pan palette, very versatile. Absolutely loved it highly recommend it and it is the classic beautiful amazing pat mcgrath eyeshadow formula that i love anyways thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video <laughs> bye